Okay guys, so I am priming my skin using the Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer. So I'm just smoothing this all over my face. Then I'm mixing the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation with a few drops of the Astralis Lightening Shade Adjusting Drops because I am pale. So I'm just applying that to my skin using my Sigma Angled Flat Kabuki. And yeah, gives me a super full coverage look. For my brows, I'm using my trusty Chi Chi Brow Pomade. So this is in the shade Taupe and I'm just mapping out my brows by drawing lines along the bottom and the top and then filling it all in. And then I like to go over the top of them with my Benefit Browsings Powder and this just gives them more of a full fluffy kind of effect. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm priming using Benefit's Air Patrol Primer. So I'm just applying it from the tube onto my eyes and then using this Sigma brush, which the name will be on the screen right now, to blend it all out. And then I'm taking the Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is, oh my god guys, so freaking good, I'm obsessed. I'm taking the light bone, like skin tone shade and I'm just applying that all over my eyelids. Then I'm going in with the medium toned matte brown shade and I'm just starting to buff this right into the crease. As you can see, I didn't really realize how pigmented the shades were until I applied them, so I kind of applied too much at first, but I just blended it all out. Then on the same Sigma E40 brush, I'm taking the sort of darker toned brown shade. I mean, they're all browns, but I'm just building up the shades. So again, I'm just buffing this into the outer corner and then taking the remainder of the product through the crease. And once again, I applied too much because these, I mean, these eyeshadows are just so pigmented. It's unbelievable. And then I'm taking the warm toned reddish brown in the bottom corner and I'm using an E25 brush because this one's a bit more precise. And I'm just pretty much doing the exact same thing, making a V shape in the outer corner and then buffing it through the crease. Then I'm picking up on my finger the shimmery bronzy shade and I'm just applying that to my eyelid. And then just going back in with the E25 brush and making sure those edges are nice and blended. Then I'm taking the same bony shade I used earlier and I am applying that to my brow bone just as kind of a highlight and to make sure my shades aren't blended too far up. Then I'm taking the darkest brown from the palette, it is matte again, and I'm taking a little E30 pencil brush and I'm just building this up in the outer V, so I'm applying it and then dragging it kind of upwards and then dragging the remainder of the product in towards the inner corner. And then just taking my E25 again to blend it out. Then I'm taking this Rimmel pencil, um, I'll have the name of it listed down below, but it's just a brown eye pencil. I'm just tight lining with that and then lining along my lash line quite messily. And then taking a E20 shader, short shader brush I think it is, and I'm just smudging that all out. And then just giving my eyelashes a curl and applying some Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte, which is my fave. And then I used the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes in 812. Moving on to the face, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and applying some underneath my eyes. And I'm blending that out using a... I have no idea what number this brush is, but I will have it linked again down below. Um, and yeah, just applying this underneath my eyes, covering up my dark circles and brightening everything up. And then I'm applying some down the center of my face as well, just to even everything out and make sure my complexion was nice and bright. Then I'm taking Benefit What's Up Highlighter and I'm applying it straight from the stick to my cheeks, but I wouldn't recommend that because it doesn't apply as nicely. I would say apply it to your brush first and then put it onto your face, but I'm just applying that on my cheekbones. Then taking MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus and just 
setting underneath my eyes and then setting the rest of my concealed areas as well. And then I left this part in because you can see little Luna in the background trying to figure out what my balloon is. She's so cute! Then I'm taking Benefit Hoola Light and I'm using a angled contour brush just to buff this underneath my cheekbones, up around my temples and my hairline and a little bit underneath my jawbone and under my chin kind of thing trying to reduce that double chin appearance you all get me then for blush I'm taking this one from NARS it's in the shade Gilda it is a matte blush and it's absolutely beautiful so I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and yeah then I am using this highlight look at it look at it this is the MAC Ex Extra, uh, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. That took a bit to get out. But I'm applying it to pretty much everywhere because it's amazing. This little highlighter brush as well is amazing from Sigma. It can buff it out as well as apply it, so it's amazing. Anyway, back onto the eyes. I am taking the first brown shade we used in the crease and applying that under the eyes then doing the same thing just going darker with the shades building them up so using the same E40 brush I used earlier I'm just buffing those underneath the eyes then I'm mixing the dark brown with the red brown on an E30 brush and just buffing that into the lash line really close Then I'm picking up the shimmery bronze shade on the E20 brush again and just buffing that underneath the eyes. And then to highlight I'm using the light champagne gold colour and I'm just applying that to the inner corners of my eyes. Then I just use the brown pencil in my waterline just to make it look a little, more, uh, a little bit more brown and smoky I guess. And then I just applied some mascara to my lower lashes. Then for lips, I took one of the new Benefit lipsticks. These are a lip liner and lipstick in one. This one's in something coral, but I will have it linked down below. I love this shade and that completed the look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Bye.